The Bank of Korea will set the key interest rate later on this Thursday. The central bank will also unveil its new outlook for the Korean economy and give a briefing on consumer price growth for a sneak peek of what's to come. Hwang Jie reports. After a surprise rate cut in June, the market consensus for this month is Korea's central bank will hold its current 1.25 percent key interest rate steady. As the Bank of Korea gears up for a monetary policy meeting scheduled for Thursday, analysts highlight the fact that it has never lowered the key rate for two straight months. They add the BOK will want to take time to gauge the impact of a government stimulus package announced late last month. But when looking through to the end of the year, many have expectations for another rate trim. While the country's main growth engine exports have dropped for a year and a half, experts say several uncertainties, including Britain's decision to leave the European Union, continue to threaten the country's growth. The global contraction of the trade uh, after the Brexit vote, especially, is likely to. Uh, negatively affect the global trade, which we think will drop the exports further in the second half of this year. And with major economies like Japan gearing up for more monetary easing in the wake of the incident, experts say it's unlikely that Korea will keep its own rate unchanged. After the Brexit, countries worldwide are heading to implement monetary easing policies like quantitative easing and lowering key rates. And that means the BOK has room to also jump into that race. Experts add a separate briefing the BOK governor will hold on the country's low inflation rate could push up expectations for more rate cuts down the road. As for the bank's latest growth outlook for Korea this year, a majority of economists expect the BOK to to revise the figure down to 2.6%. Hwang Jie, Arirang News.